Baker Mayfield's comeback on Thursday, I think that game in and of itself, it's bigger than just an improbable comeback on a nationally televised game and a great story of a guy coming in super late to the process, 40 hours, I felt like, in L.A., and he wins the game. I think the story of him coming back and winning the game, it's bigger than just a great story or a movie script ending, if you will. I think these next four games, coming off of or starting with Thursday and then going to these next four games, I think they're a true trial for Baker Mayfield. Like, I think Baker Mayfield has a real opportunity here to be the Rams' starting quarterback next year and in the future. Two things got to happen. Number one, we got to talk about the health and the future of Matthew Stafford. Now, obviously, if Matthew Stafford wants to come back and play, I think Baker Mayfield's SOL. But when you look at Matthew Stafford right now, he is on IR and he's out for probably the rest of the year with a spinal cord contusion. That's some serious stuff. Spinal cord contusion. He also had a concussion this year as well and was dealing with some elbow injuries uh, before the season started. This is a guy who has been banged up his entire career. I just wonder, and this is speculation only, now that he has a Super Bowl, now that you're kind of dealing with a pretty serious injury, like, again, the spinal cord is not one that I would mess with. I know football players are built different. They're, they're kind of a warrior mentality. But that's one where I would kind of pause and say, maybe I should reevaluate if playing football right now and kind of risking serious injury is worth it. You have a Super Bowl ring, so you really accomplished what you kind of set out for. And I think for, for Matthew Stafford, I think it's beneficial at this point for him to walk away, retire. You're banged up. Let your body just heal so you can actually kind of live a somewhat normal life the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the time you're on this earth. You got a ring so you, you, know, you can walk out a champion. I think for Matthew Stafford, it is also easier to walk away if you feel like there's a replacement there. Like you're not leaving the Rams high and dry because they don't have any draft picks. They don't have much draft capital to bring some uh, – uh, salary cap room, excuse me, to bring someone in. But if Baker Mayfield plays well these next four games, I think it almost makes the decision for Matthew Stafford to retire easier. Because you can leave the Rams in a spot where they could sign Baker and kind of be still in a good spot and not, again, scrambling to, I don't know, sign Sam Darnold, or like to take a flyer on him, or maybe bid for Gina Smith, like something like that, where you're just kind of trying to take uh, scrap heap guys uh, in order to kind of you know survive because you're kind of hamstrung against the cap and you have no real draft picks to use to get a quarterback. So I think Matthew Stafford's future, I think he's in question. I think there's a real chance he retires. And if he does, I would say it opens the door for Baker Mayfield. But let's also look at Baker. Again, coming in, super short rest, you know, no time in L.A. He was still able in that game on Thursday night, go 22-35, 230 yards, one touchdown, Despite also, forget just the short time he was there in LA, barely learning the playbook, he was also playing behind a brutal offensive line that's been bad and banged up all season long, a receiving core that is frankly terrible. Ben Skoranek was the number one target for Baker Mayfield on Thursday. Ben Skoranek. Sorry, Ben, but you're Ben Skoranek. I was at him getting the ball. It's 2 2 Atwell. The smallest guy in the NFL at 5'6", like 160. And Van Jefferson. So you look at Baker having some early success there with this cast around him. You got to think if you get, you know, next, let's just say if Baker's there next year, we you get Cooper Cup back, you get Allen Robinson back, you get some of the offensive line players back. You got some talent to work with. And when it comes to his play specifically... I think, there's, I think there's talent underneath Baker where he is. Like, I think he still has some talent deep inside of him. But I think he needs the right coach to get it out. I think Sean McVay is that coach. And Sean McVay has been a guy who has gotten the most out of every quarterback he's been. He took Jared Goff to a Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford's been a guy who some, put up some impressive stats but never had that equate to winning. McVay found a way to make sure that it equated to winning and won a Super Bowl with him. I think Sean McVay can get the most out of Baker Mayfield. I think he can make it work. So I think Baker could have success in L.A., I really do. I think he could revive his career. And this is really one of the only places he could have a career revival is in L.A. because it is with a guy like Sean McVay. And also, too, for Sean McVay, rumors about his future, you know, some thoughts about maybe he'll retire, maybe he wants to kind of take a little bit of a break, raise a family. And it was reported, speculated, that 
He will coach basically as long as the core group of Stafford, Cup, Ramsey, Aaron Donald are playing. As long as those guys are there, McVay will be there. So let's just say the next three, four years they'll be there. Well, I think the, the Mayfield signing and May, Mayfield being the starter going forward brings a little extra juice, brings a new challenge that I think sparks Sean McVay to keep him on the sideline longer than maybe he originally would if Stafford was going to come back and be healthy. So I think this, these next four games are uber important and are a serious trial for Baker Mayfield. If he plays well, he shows the Rams that he actually has something. I think we're looking at the Rams starting 23, 23 quarterback being Baker Mayfield.